my Lego orders have been piling up. Uh, it's getting a little overwhelming, and so I need to break these boxes down or at least figure out where I'm going to put these sets. Uh, I've got orders from Target, Walmart, and Kohl's, uh, which is behind the camera. I need to start getting through this stuff. I don't know exactly what I'm going to have time to get through. So in this clip, we're at least going to cover both of my Target orders that have come in. So I've cut the tape off the top of them to make it a little bit quicker. Try and expedite this as much as possible. I have not actually dove into them. Okay, yep, this is a nice set. So uh, for those of you who maybe missed out, and I'm just going to pull all these out of the box. We've got uh, the Black Friday deals this year have been what I believe to be insanely early. They've happened what I believe to be about three weeks prior to Black Friday is when they started, maybe two weeks. Anyways, as of the recording of this, it is still not Black Friday. I'm almost a full, no, I'm a week and a half away. A week and a half away from Black Friday. I have already ordered sets and received them. That's what this video is really all about. And so from Target, they had the Hagrid's Hut Buck Beats Rescue. They had this sit on sale, normally $60, 50% off at $30. So I had to order some of these. Target does usually a pretty good job at shipping packages, at least in my area. I know with the Harry and Hermione sets that a lot of people got some damaged stuff. I got a smidge of a squish corner up here, but these sets are all in fantastic condition. We've got three of them there. And if I remember correctly, yep, I placed a second Target order and ended up getting three more. This one we've got a little bit of a squished in front on, but that takes us to four. This one here, fantastic condition, takes me to five. And lastly, we've got this one in pretty good condition. It's got a little bit of an indent on the front, but not something I would worry about. So I've got six of the 75947 sets from Target. I'm trying to remember, they also had a Jurassic World set that was on sale. $60 set down to $30. Unfortunately, I was not able to get my hands on any of those. They were completely sold out online prior to me being able to uh, get there to place an order. So I settled for these. I wasn't going to end up getting any more, but for $30, uh, I had to build a deeper position into these. So that's what I got from Target. Let me go ahead and real quick get some other packages and maybe we can even get through those in this particular video. I don't know because I record all these as clips and then piece them together in post later. And depending on the size of the video and the topic that ends up being around the video may or may not fit. Anyways, let me go grab some more packages. So if it's all right with all of you, I think today what I would like to cover is all of my Black Friday or at least my pre-Black Friday Lego deals that I've received. Um, that's what we're going to do. I covered the Target one. You probably already saw that. Uh, if not, it'll be after this clip because time travel. You know how that works. Uh, we're going to get into the Walmart one next. Let me know as well. I've pre-cut these boxes. I'm curious from your perspective, does that make it less of a box opening presentation to you? Is it seem more exciting if I'm cracking the boxes open for the first time? Uh, I don't really know how to think about that. I don't think you want to sit here and watch me cut tape and hear the box opening, but maybe I'm wrong. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of that. I've got two Walmart packages here, and then I'll pull over some more because there's a ton over there. Luckily, what I'm real excited about is the boxes these came in, actually. Tons of void fill. But because the size of the set, this gives me boxes that are perfect for shipping stuff into Amazon FBA. We've got just a single set in this box. I'm pretty excited about this find. It is one of the 2021 gift sets, the 66684 Lego City set. It comes with the 60256 and the 60285 set, as well as some silly Lego travel case. Honestly, uh, that part can disappear for all I care. It's really just these two sets. This came to me for 20 bucks. I'm pretty sure this is a $30 retail set. This is a $10 retail set. I look at this as $40 in value. I also think, and I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that these are actually 
boxed sets inside of this box, which means if you wanted to, you could actually break this open and sell each of the sets individually. You don't have to do it as one larger unit. But we ended up getting this uh, particular gift set in. That is package number one. And package number two, which I honestly don't know if it's the same or not. Guess what, folks? It is. We have another one of these sets. I'm going to go pull some more boxes. So we'll do this clip just slightly different, just in case some of you do care. Ooh, look at me open the box. Look at me misuse a knife by cutting towards me. Is that the experience you were hoping for? Here we go. We're getting into it. We have another box. I will say this box is the same size and for a good reason. We have set number three. That could have been really dangerous. I just tossed that box and afterwards I realized that Scott has his part out sets over there for the used Brickling store. It was about that close to actually knocking it over. Whew. Here we go. Cut. 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 This is a same size box. However, it's brown instead of the blue. You can't see it because apparently it's all washed out from this light right above my head. This set is different, folks. We got this mammoth 1500 piece set. You've probably seen 900 people get this set at this point. Uh, I ended up picking up a few of them just because I couldn't ignore the number of pieces in here for the price. Um, need to have it in my back pocket to add to the Bricklink store. These things I don't believe really resell afterwards. So this is purely for the Bricklink store and or maybe I'll make little gift packages out of these and give them away for Christmas. We'll see. These boxes have been pre-cut, but we have two more boxes. Same size boxes, but I don't know exactly what we're gonna get. Aside from void fill, and void fill, and void fill. Looks like we have another one of the city sets that takes us up to number four. And box number two, see how much quicker that is? Minus the removal of void fill. We have, any guesses? Another one of the city sets. Number five. Another two boxes, still going through the Walmart stuff. First box, this one is smaller and barely fits. Another one of the 1500 piece sets. Set that to the side, get rid of the box. We have a largest box that I've ordered. This one uh, came in slightly larger box than the last ones. Tons more void fill. And we have Lego City gift set number six. Another two boxes, they just don't end. We have the classic set yet again. So that's the third one of those. I don't know how many boxes this is, but surprise, surprise. We have another classic set, classic set number four. Last two of the Walmart packages. And if you've been counting along the way with what we've got, it probably won't be a surprise that we've got a fifth of the creator sets. And the last, no, I'm sorry, not creator, classic craziness. And number six of them. And the basic story there is that in order to get free shipping on the 1500 set box or 1500 piece count box, I needed to do something to get to $35 uh, spend to get free shipping. And that's where the city set came in. I was kind of on the edge about them before, but after thinking about it, I'm like, you know what? There's going to be value in those, just like there's going to be BrickLink value in these classic sets. So that's what I ended up getting a hold of. That's it for the Walmart stuff. Whew, that was a lot of work. And I've got a big old mess now. We finally made it over to the last of the different boxes, in essence. This is my haul from Kohl's. Box number one, there's another box over there, but uh, I have to do these one at a time. As you can see, they are very large. We have some really crappy void filled job. DoorDash coupon. Um, I'm interested to see the quality of these sets. A lot of people tend to have shipping problems with Kohl's and find that they have sets that are very damaged. Fingers crossed, hopefully these are not. Let's take a look. So we have the AT-AT75254. 
or I'm sorry, the ATST Raider uh, 75254. And uh, that's pretty much what I expect to be in this entire box. We have one of them. Box condition looks good on box number one. Fantastic. We have number two. Good looking box. I'm going to end up damaging these if I don't get them out of the way. Number three. Box looks pretty good. Four, good condition box. A little bit of a ding on the side. <coughs> Looks like I've hit the lottery on this one. Uh, and even though they were packed in such a large box relative to their size, because of the quantity, they ended up staying fairly safe. Again, another nice condition set. That makes five. Here is number six. Looking good. Box number seven, I would call this one a win. Yep. And the last item in the box, uh, this one has some weird, like, I'm going to call it shelfware on the front, so I don't know if it's just from the boxes rubbing together as they were shipped or what, but we have eight of the ATST Raiders. This was a part of Cole's deal. These were on sale from $50 down to $35, and on top of that, I managed to get $15 for every $50 I spent, and so I want to say that this ended up working out to a magic number between this and the other one, such that it banked me a total of $150 in Kohl's cash that I actually need to spend by tomorrow. So I'm going to be making another Kohl's purchase yet, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into box number two and see what we got in that one. Last part of our Black Friday, pre-Black Friday deals is this last one from Kohl's here. Again, box condition is going to be the biggest thing, but I can tell they packed these pretty good. So we have the Lego Minecraft 21152, what is it, the Pirate Ship Adventure. This set I feel like is either retired or just on the edge of retirement. This one is normally a $40 set. I think they had this one down to $27.99, something around there. And again, in addition, the extra $15 for every 50. So I got eight of these with eight of those ended up making a total of whatever that is, about a $500 purchase. Is that right? No, $750 purchase total, which is what netted me $1,550. Is that right? No, I can't do math. Must have been a $500 purchase because 10 rewards would equal $150 in Kohl's cash, which is what I had. So $500 between eight of these sets, eight of the ATTs, ATSTs, one of those. Real quick, just quick box examination. We're good. We're pretty good. This one does have a slice down the front. You might be able to see that there. A little bit of a bulging side, but fine. Good condition. Good condition. It is interesting sometimes how some sets come with punch tabs and other ones come with tape. Uh, these ones are both punch tab, but this last one I picked up, this has actually got the taped seals, uh, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why they make this choice. Probably one factory over another making the sets, but I think all eight of them are in overall pretty good condition. I hope you enjoyed seeing my Black Friday, pre-Black Friday deals that I picked up. I do have one more package coming, but it really wasn't a part of the Black Friday sales because I think it was just a random item that re-entered the store. You'll have to stay tuned another week to see that at least. Anyways, it'll come up in a future video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. What do you think of my score? Did I do pretty good? Let me know what you ended up finding and which deals you took advantage of. We'll see you in the next episode, everybody. Bye. We got a bonus video, and my voice is probably all shot because I got a little bit of a cold. But you probably heard me talk about in my last video, or earlier in this video, my Kohl's cash that I had to spend. And since... It's been long enough that the Kohl's cash had to be used. 
Uh, I actually ordered something yesterday, and it has already come in the mail, which is kind of crazy. So let's see what the condition of this box is. Kohl's has historically been horrible out about shipping big box items. And yeah, it's definitely not the best condition. But we have a Ninjago City Gardens. Got this for 50% off. $150 off this box. Uh, it is definitely a little bit rough. Let me get this picked up. All right, I got it pulled out of the box. You can see we've got a crease going right through this side. We have this edge kind of busted up. Not the prettiest box, but for 50% off, I'm probably not going to mess around with Kohl's. They don't carry these things in the store, so it's not like there's a lot of options. These seals look like they're pretty good. So yeah, I got Ninjago City Gardens. If anything, maybe what I'll do, because theoretically one of these are for me, I may keep this one. Oh yeah, look at this side of the box. Can you even see that? Squishy. Maybe I'll keep this one and take my nicer version of the box and sell that one instead. Either way, Ninjago City Gardens, 50% off, $150. Crazy deal. Uh, little bonus clip. Thanks, everyone. All right, so I have another order. We ended up getting an order on eBay from Yolanda in Florida for this Dino Triceratop Trapper set. I've got it wrapped in some bubble wrap right now. And the problem I'm having is that the shipping goes nuts. If I choose the box that I wanted, I mismeasured it. And so I need to trim this box down just slightly because it. if I do 24... I think is what the box length is, 24, 26, uh, whatever that is, by 16 by 6. It puts it at like $39 shipping. But if I can go down to either 4 inches tall or a little bit less wide, I get it all the way down to, I think it was like $14 or something like that. So I need to do a little bit of Frankenstein on this box. I'm going to cut these seams over here, kind of peel it over the top. I'm going to find a way to get this thing closed up. And here is what I came up with. It's certainly not my best packing job. Uh, I threw some tape all the way around it. I might throw a little extra tape right here on this seam uh, just to keep it a little more closed. I think it's good. It's actually wrapped pretty well uh, inside. The box just looks a little bit rough, but I had to do a lot of modifications. I had to reduce the height and the width of this package to get it to ship for $13.79. So uh, hopefully this box makes it there in great condition. Thank you very much again, Yolanda, for your order. I appreciate it. Down here, checking all the boxes. We've got a couple of BrickLink orders for Guy and Mark. I have my package over here for my 1500 sub winner, the Flipping Flip, as well as my White Leaf Contest winner, Ben Wren. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out to Ben. I'm going to get these packages out as well. Thank you, everybody, for all the support that you show to us on this channel. Uh, it really means so much to me, and it's awesome to have such a great community of people behind us. Thank you all so much again.